looks like at least early in the week here, maybe an opportunity to, to bump up the lineup a little bit. Just maybe your thoughts on what that opportunity can look like for you and sort of what parts of your game you think can help you get there and, and have a chance to stay there. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, Connor's, Connor's the best player in the game right now. So any opportunity, uh, you know, you get uh, on the ice with him, you're, you try and take advantage of it and obviously get the puck in, in his hands and kind of let him do his thing. But in the same sense, you know, um, I think I've been around long enough now and played in places like Chicago with, with Kane and Taze and guys like that where, um, you know, you play your game too. You go out there and, and do your thing and what brings you success. And um, so, yeah, uh, like you said, early in the week. But, uh, you know, I just like to, to re bring real positive energy to, to the guys, to the room, um, you know, always working, uh, working my hardest out there. And, uh, yeah, not too much else. Coach uh, put together a practice today that just had you guys basically banging heads all day, you know, battle drills, that sort of stuff. Is that, is that something that it's a pretty clear indication that you guys need to maybe play that way a little bit more than you do right now? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's no – you know, no secret what kind of brings success in this league and playing hard kind of playoff style of hockey. So um, I think any team uh, been on, you know, the unfortunate side of some some losing teams and gone through streaks like this. And that's usually the way out of it is practices like that and beating hard and against each other and everyone pushing to, uh, to get better. So, um, yeah, it was a good skate out there today. And um, you know, hopefully we, we figured out a few things going forward and can, can remain positive and, uh, you know, looking forward to the next game. Hey, Brandon, just over here to your left. Uh, goals in back-to-back -back games, four points in the last five games for you. Do you feel like you've been able to find your form over the last handful of games? Yeah, I mean, you know what, man, it's, it's hockey. Like, it comes and goes so, so quick. So, for me, I, honestly, I, I'm not doing – anything outlandishly different than, than I felt I was at the start of the year. I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing and get pucks on that, and that's, that's kind of my game and, you know, be kind of buzzing around and shooting a lot out there. So I don't feel like anything's really changed. You just get the odd one that goes in or whatever, right? So, um, yeah, like I said, sometimes, I mean, you know, especially at this level, it can be, like, so – scrutinize or under a microscope per se of like oh not doing x x and x or you're doing all those you know it sometimes it's it's too much where it's like you know what at the end of the day it's hockey go out there play play like you're you're on the pond like a kid and enjoy it have fun be positive and you know good things will happen uh you know i think if it's if it's the other way and you're you're carrying negativity and bad attitudes or things like that it can obviously go down but the more you know, you bring that positive energy and spirit, uh, you know, it's, I'm a big believer in law of attraction, so whatever you think about, you bring about. Uh, whenever we ask you about, uh, you know, gripping the stick earlier on in the year, you put it in perspective saying that this isn't a real problem, like the real problem is like those out in the military, out in wars and all that stuff, and now you're just talking about it's just a game. Where did that mindset develop personally for you growing up? You know what? It's it hasn't been something that's uh, come really easy to me. It's uh, it's something over the last probably the whole COVID period, and if not before, like I went through a real down year in Detroit, right, where I was, you know, team was rock bottom. Myself personally didn't have a obviously a great year there. So uh, when when you hit those kind of low of lows, the only way is to go up, and you know, I really kind of did. A lot of soul searching about myself to see, um, you know, who I was, why I enjoy playing the game, uh, where I want to go in the game, and things like that. So, I've met with uh, and and trained with a lot of people over the last couple of years. Uh, Navy SEALs being one, and uh, my my one buddy Tommy, uh, he was a Navy SEAL for 15 years, and hearing like he said, you know, a usual term is three to four years, and he spent 15. And, you know, that's, that's the elite of the elite where their consequence is death, you know. So 
right off the hop, I'm like, okay, you know, if I miss a pass, if I miss a shot, if we lose a game, my consequence is not death. It's I still get to wake up and go to the rink the next day or go work out or do what I want to do, you know. So that, that relieves, you know, a little bit of mental ease right there. And then, you know, it's just, it's really, like I said, law, law of attraction for me is so big and, you know, really uh, just staying positive through everything, you know, really trying to enjoy everything. I, I feel like sometimes um, I think things can get too much in the past or, or future. And I, I really just try and stay in the pocket, like in the present. And it's very tough because you're always thinking, oh, what's going to happen next or this or that, right? So uh, for me, it's, it's a mindset of trying to stay present, stay happy, and go out and enjoy everything. Thank you. Uh, Brandon, this team's been a pretty good team for a couple of years. Uh, the, the mandate at the start of this season was don't lose two in a row. Uh, you lost six in a row twice. And on Saturday night, it looked like a team in the third period that didn't know how to win. What happens? Where does it go? And how do you get it back? I think it can only go up. You know, like, like I said, I mean, I've been on teams where it's lose six, seven, eight in a row, and you can win six, seven, eight in a row just like that. So, um, you know, I'm always a, obviously an, an optimistic guy and glass half full type of guy, but I really think it's part, you, you got like, we got some of the best players in the world, the best player in the world too in there. So at any given moment, you know, good things can happen. And it's just, you got to keep going, you know, that, that's life. You know, you like things are never going to be, you're going to win every single game. Your life is going to be rainbows and clouds and whatever not, you know, like, Life is ups and downs, ebbs and flows, right? So uh, it's, it's really almost grateful for our group to go through periods like this because then when we'll get back to winning, it's like, ah, I like that feeling, you know, I want to keep winning. Maybe before we weren't grateful enough for, for winning games and we have to go through something like this to learn and come through it better. When do you think you might get back to winning? Say again? When do you think that time might come that you get back to winning? Next game. <laughs>